In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to turn a stroke into a shape. Sometimes this is really beneficial. Let's say, for instance, we want a circle that's cut out like a donut shape. We click on this ellipse tool. The shortcut key is L. I'm going to create a stroke path only, so no fill. And I'm going to just click and drag to create my circle. Hold shift to make it a perfect circle. Now we've got this circle out here, and the stroke is very, very thin. But if I were to up this stroke by a lot, I'm holding shift and pressing the up arrow key until I get this donut shape that I want, something like this. Like, what if I wanted that to be my shape? I didn't want it to be a stroke anymore. You need to expand the stroke. By expanding the stroke, we create a shape out of it. To do that, have your stroke selected, whether it's a path or an object like this. Go up to Edit. I'm wrong. Go up to Object, down to Expand. Now, when we expand this, we will expand both the fill and the stroke, which is fine and then press OK. Now, this shape is actually a shape now. You won't be able to get the stroke back. There's no way to go backwards. This is a destructive process, completely transforming a shape or a stroke to a shape. But you now have that. And so now this is a fill instead of a stroke color. Uh, so this works as a shape now. And this shape might be grouped together so you could right click and ungroup it and you can move it around still in case that's uh, giving you any issues. It's also a compound path. So there's a path in the middle here that's basically saying how large or small the interior of the circle shape is. And you could release the compound path. And by doing that, it actually releases that interior uh, cutout. So that's not probably what you want to do. Uh, you want to keep that as a compound path, but just to show you that you could release it. Also, you can double click in here and you're inside the compound path where you can select these different areas. And you could even scale this guy up and down by holding shift and option or alt to kind of scale him up and down. I mean, you could even move him around. So this is just like another circle inside the circle that Illustrator remembers as a compound path to sort of cut out. And so that's kind of how you can go in and edit it if you wanted to. Like if you felt like this was too thick now and you can't go back and edit the stroke because you lost that vector in your document, you can simply come in here and maybe uh, just scale this up. And now you have a thinner donut shape. So that's how you can turn a stroke into a shape just by expanding that stroke and then a few options around editing compound paths here in Adobe Illustrator.